Liberal Dan Radio presents Fat Man Rants. The Democratic Party has announced that in 2024 there will be no Democratic presidential primary debates. The conservatives, Republicans, etc., have all jumped on the same silly bandwagon and have been like, oh, this is how the steal happens. This is how they're going to rig the election. Oh, this is the new playbook. And even Cenk Younger from the Young Turks is like, Oh, the old guys are running from the bunker again. <laughs> this is absolutely mind-numbingly stupid. Why? There has never been a political party that has held a debate for their primaries when their candidate was running for re-election as an incumbent for president. So, for example... When Donald Trump ran for re-election as the incumbent for president, the RNC never held an official debate. When Bill Clinton ran for re-election as the incumbent for president, the DNC never held an official debate. Same thing for Barack Obama. Same thing for George H.W. Bush. Same thing for George W. Bush. Same thing for Ronald Reagan. Same thing is even true for Jimmy Carter. Even though Ted Kennedy was trying to challenge him and was asking for a debate, it never happened. So it's never been a thing. It's never happened. So why are people making a big deal of it now? They just have selective memory or amnesia. I mean, it's a ridiculous talking point. It's like people don't have a memory beyond four years. It's absurd. Not only is it absurd because it's never happened before, it's a ridiculous ask altogether. Why would a political party hold a debate against their presumptive nominee? I mean, the person who is the incumbent president running for re-election is obviously going to be the person who's the de facto nominee for the party. I mean, why wouldn't they be? They're the guy who's in the office already. Why wouldn't they be the person who they want to be running for re-election? And if you put that person up for a debate against other candidates, you're doing the other party's job for them. Why would you want to make it easier for the Republican Party? It makes no sense. And if you're a Republican, why would you make it easier for the Democratic Party? It makes no sense. It would be stupid. It would be a bad decision. Overall, why would you do it? It's dumb. Because if you let people attack you for your record as president for the last four years, then they don't have to do it. Then all they have to do is like, well, the Democrats are even saying that this guy is bad on this, that, and the other. Then... Well, if the Democrats don't even like it, then why don't we have to do it? It's absurd. There's no reason to do it. So that's why the Democrats aren't going to do it. That's why the Republicans didn't do it in 2020. That's why the Democrats didn't do it in 2012, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And that's why years into the future, you'll never see it happen. Ever. Why? Because it makes no sense to do it. And... I understand why the Republicans would love to see it happen, but it's still a ridiculous ask. And for the people left of center asking for it to happen, you're being ridiculous. So stop it.